It is, impossible for a man, to learn what he thinks, he already knows. Books are the, training weights of the mind. Only the educated are free. Freedom and happiness, are won by disregarding things, that lie beyond our control. Any person capable of angering you becomes your master. There is only one way to happiness, and that is to cease worrying about things, which are beyond, the power of our will. From this instant on, vow to stop disappointing yourself. Separate yourself from the mob. Decide to be extraordinary and do what you need to do, now. Be careful, whom you associate with. It is human to imitate the habits of, those with whom we interact. We inadvertently adopt their interests, their opinions, their values, and their habit of interpreting events. Happiness and freedom begin with a clear understanding of one principle, some things are within our control, and some things are not. It is only after you have faced up to this fundamental rule and learned to distinguish between, what you can, and can't control that inner tranquility, and outer effectiveness become possible. Don't be concerned with, other people's impressions of you. They are dazzled, and deluded by appearances. Stick with your purpose. This alone will strengthen your will, and give your life coherence. Now is the time to get serious about living your ideals. Once you have determined the spiritual principles you wish to exemplify, abide by these rules as if they were laws, as if it were indeed sinful to compromise them. Don't mind if others don't share your convictions. How long can you afford to put off who you really want to be? Your nobler self cannot wait any longer. Don't explain your philosophy. Embody it. If someone speaks badly of you, do not defend yourself against the accusations, but reply, you obviously don't know about my other vices, otherwise you would have mentioned these as well. Keep your attention focused entirely on, what is truly your own concern, and be clear that, what belongs to others is their business, and none of yours. He is a wise man, who does not grieve for the things, which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. You can be happy if you know this secret, some things are within your power to control, and some things are not. No greater thing is created suddenly, any more than a bunch of grapes or a figure if you tell me that, you desire a fig, I answer you that there must be time. Let it first blossom, then bear fruit, then ripen. As you think, so you become, our busy minds are forever jumping to conclusions, manufacturing and interpreting signs that aren't there. He who laughs at himself never runs out of things to laugh at. It is our attitude toward events, not events themselves, which we can control. Nothing is by its own nature calamitous, even death is terrible only if we fear it. First say to yourself what you would be, and then do what you have to do. The key is to keep company only with people, who uplift you, whose presence calls forth your best. It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it, that matters. If evil be spoken of you, and it be true, correct yourself, if it be a lie, laugh at it. What matters most is, what sort of person you are becoming. Wise individuals care only about, whom they are today, and who they can be tomorrow. People are not disturbed by things, but by the view they take of them. At this time is freedom anything, but the right to live as we wish. Nothing else. It takes more than just a good-looking body. You've got to have the heart, and soul to go with it. It's so simple really, if you say you're going to do something, do it. If you start something, finish it. The essence of philosophy, is that a man should so live that, his happiness shall depend as little as possible, on external things. Within our control are our, own opinions, aspirations, and desires and the demons that distract us from these goals. Outside of our control are such things as, what kind of body we have, whether or not, 
we are born into wealth, and how we are regarded by others. Be careful to leave your sons, well instructed rather than rich, for the hopes of, the instructed are better than the wealth of the ignorant. No matter what happens, it is within my power to turn it to my advantage. Keep silence for the most part, and speak only when you must, and then briefly. We have two ears and one mouth, so that we can listen twice as, much as we speak. In trying to please other people, we find ourselves misdirected toward, what lies outside our sphere of influence. In doing so, we lose our hold on our life's purpose. <laughs>